And one legendary Louisiana politician began his career in the state legislature before being elected mayor of New Orleans. In fact, today marks 50 years since the inauguration of Mayor Moon Landrieu. And so to mark that occasion, he sat down with Channel 4 political analyst Clancy Dubose, who covered the mayor's two terms as a young reporter in the 1970s. First of all, Mr. Mayor, thank you for doing this. Happy to be here. And we're sitting on your front porch, which has been the center of the Landrieu family life in many ways for the last 60 plus years. I think it's also one of the first places I ever interviewed you, and it's the first place I interviewed your daughter, Mary. So this is the perfect place to have this interview. But I want, you to, I want to take you back 50 years to this day, 50 years ago, almost this time, when you walked out of that door and stepped on this porch to take your children and your wife down to St. Louis Cathedral and then to City Hall to become the new mayor of New Orleans. What were your thoughts as you stepped on this porch 50 years ago? I'm not sure I can, I can recapture every one of them, but I can tell you it was one of great satisfaction and satisfaction and pride. But I know it was also nervous and with anxiety that we were beginning, not ending a campaign, but beginning the administration of a, of a city that needed help. So I was very excited about it and we will treated so beautifully by everybody. It was a very beautiful day, much like this, as yes, I recall. It was. Uh, Moon, you are remembered for many things as mayor. One of the most off-sided milestones was integrating the top tier of city government with your political appointments. You appointed the first black department head, Pete Sanchez, the first black CAO, Terrence DuVernay, and many other African-American appointees to top positions. Why was that so important to you personally? Well, I had lived through the, uh, an early childhood where we were basically, slavery was ended, of course, but we were still in a period in the 30s of, uh, of blacks being horribly treated. And it wasn't just a question of racial justice, but from a practical standpoint, I recognized as a politician, as a, as a legislator and a councilman, that we were wasting so much talent and wasting so much energy by precluding the blacks from participation in all matters, government and business and all the important matters of the economics of the city. And I was determined as I became mayor uh, to revitalize this city and to bring about racial integration so that the mayor could, the city could enjoy a full benefit of the white and the black uh, participants. Well, you endured some pretty withering criticism for your advocacy of integration and civil rights even before you became mayor. What did you tell yourself to get through that? And was there someone to whom you turned for advice or even solace during those, those years? One of the people I spoke to often was Norman Francis, who was then dean of of uh, Xavier University and uh, who had attended law school at the same time I was there. So I consulted Norman quite often about these racial matters. Sometimes I just had to ignore what they said and move on with what I, what I had to do. And I hope that most of it was right, but nobody's perfect and I'm sure the errors I've made. How is politics different today from when you were coming up? Well, there are, there are many, many, many differences, but the, from a visual and an effective standpoint, it's the media. Uh, when I was coming up, you only had the papers, and it was in the newspapers that you got your news or you had radio. The visual impact of, of, uh, of television was just tremendous and has made a huge, huge difference. Now. Today it's changing again, and there's the social media, and I can't comment because I'm not into that and don't exactly know how it works. But it's, uh, and as you say, and you know this, nothing stays the same. And uh, how it's going to change uh, in the future, I can't say. But it's, uh, it's, it, it's made us, this new communication, social media is making a big difference. What are you most proud of? during your eight years as mayor? My wife and my nine children. And I think that's a very simple answer. 
I think when I look back at it in my life generally, it's how lucky I was to find Vernal and how blessed we were to have nine good kids and to revel in their uh, birth of 37 grandkids and, and their various careers in, in law and politics and in, in other areas. So uh, I'm a very grateful man. Such a great picture there too. Mayor Landry will turn 90 years old in July. He's working on his memoir with a Tulane student who is working under the supervision of author Walter Isaacson. And like Clancy Isaacson covered Mayor Landrieu as a young newspaper reporter.